fucking this bitch and you know we reloaded Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it And she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe Cali and Courtney and maybe a can for What's good? I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm just going to show you actually uh, my top five compressor. If ever you're a beginner, you're not sure about compressing vocals, the five compressor that I will show you is super easy to use. You don't need to know much about compressing to be able to use them. There's no uh, ratio. There is no attack, release, all this. You only basically have two knob in all of them except one that it's a bit more complicated but I will show you it's still easy to use if you want to know how to compress vocal easily well, check this out all right guys so this is the vocals that we're gonna work on today yeah oh back in this bitch and you know we reloaded look at the credits to tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas you know it I'm out of Cali I'm looking for Chloe maybe a Kylie or maybe a Ken who's all right pardon me maybe and by the way, the compressor that I use in this video, they're not in specific order. So I just choose my top five, and uh, but there's no specific order which one's better in the way I will use them in the video. First one that's good, our compressor. What's good about this compressor, you have a gate, and it's a very, very good gate. So if ever you want to cut a background sound or anything, floor noise or any other thing, you can use this one too. But for this video, we're just going to use a compressor. So basically, this one's the easiest of all compressor to use. It's simply one knob. So the way that this one's working, you just crank down for the amount of compression you want to have on your vocal. And the compression, you're going to see it appear here. The only thing with this one, you're going to see that the more you crank it down, the more volume you get. So if you don't want to have your vocals too loud, you just have to dial back the gain here. Just basically so the vocal is not too loud. You, you will see. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it And she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe Maybe a Kylie, tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it And she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe Maybe a Kylie or maybe a Ken So you see, super easy, the vocals are already compressed And Meek Mill is, is a good example The reason why I use Meek Mill's vocals Is because Meek Mill sometimes, well, he's always screaming on the mic So you really have peaks uh, in his vocal sometimes a bit lower sometimes there's words that are very high he absolutely need a compressor and this one's easy to use basically it took me what uh, 10 seconds and his vocals is compressed obviously this is just a fast uh, a fast way to show it i would make the song for real i would take my time use probably more than one compressor but just this is just to give you like basic use of a compressor yeah Ooh. and a good way to calculate how much, if especially if you're not sure what you're doing, dial anything between three to uh, three to five, sometimes six. It really depends the vocals, but in in terms of gain reduction. So, and this this one you just see it here. So. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it, and she wouldn't speak to you niggas. You know it. I'm out. Super easy to use. Another one that I like, it's the CLA 2A. Basically, it's pretty much the same thing. You have two knobs here. This one control the peak reduction here. And this one control the overall gain. So, again. Yeah! Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it And she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe Maybe a Kylie or maybe a Ken who's, yeah Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it And she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for It's compressed you see, like it's super easy, because uh, basically you only you you only need to really focus about how much gain reduction you want in a vocal. You don't need to care about the ratio, the attack, uh, the release, all of that. Uh, obviously, when you have these options, though, it's gonna give you a lot more control on the type of compression uh, you want. That's for sure. But these these is really easy to use. But like I said, this is all about getting basic here another one that i like it's again with waves it's the cla 3a basically like i said all the ones that i will show you are pretty much the same thing this again the peak reduction 
So you want to go around that area here? Yeah! Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it. I'm out in Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe you're Kali. And this, again, it's really the volume. But this, you can use the snub to kind of bend your vocals, how loud you want them to cut through the mix. So... Yeah! Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it. I'm out in Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe a Ken who's, yeah. Ooh. So super easy, you don't need to, to worry about anything else. Two simple knobs, volume and peak reduction. The other one that I will show you again with Waves, it's the Pug Child 660. It's an emulation of the Fairchild uh, compressor. Very, very popular compressor. Even uh, Young Tug's uh, engineer used the exact same one. This one, you have three knobs. This is the only one that you will see that you have other knobs in this one. So this one, you don't need to worry about it. You have this one that is the threshold. Threshold, it's like the other one that we saw, the peak reduction. This is your output gain. So if you want more volumes in the vocals, and the only difference that you have with this one, it's you have time constant. And this here, it's like kind of a preset of different type of attack and release. Most of the time I will use number three, but I will show you if ever you go download the manual, you're going to have each one of them what they're doing, but I will show you. So the first, we're going to put, try always to aim around five, between three to five dB of gain reduction. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it. I'm out in Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe a Ken who's, yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak. Now, the only thing that I would use first, it's because depending on what you use here, the attack and the release, this might change. So basically, I would, I would first start by checking exactly what type of speed you want. And this I will show you. I got the manual here. And so position one, it's a super fast attack and a super fast release. This here, again, you have the attack at 0.2, the release at 0.8, the position three, now you're going to see because this is milliseconds and this is two seconds. So this basically in position three, it's a fast attack and it's like a slower release, which is normally in rap. This is what I would use. You have position four that it's technically is the same attack as position three, but it's a way uh, slower release. Number five, it's a fast attack and it's an automatic release because the other one the other uh, plugin that I show you, it's like it's going to do it automatic. This one, you kind of have to set it. But instead of being too complicated, it, they, they choose the, the six more uh, common use in attack and release for this one. This one is automatic. And the other one here, it's automatic. But the only thing, this can go up for 25 seconds of uh, release, which is crazy slow. Me, for rap vocals, I prefer position three. So this is what we're going to put on this one. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it. I'm out in Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe a Ken who's, yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that's, that's for this one. And the last one, it's our compressor. I really like this plugin. This one, though, compared to the other one, is not as easy because this, you have to control the ratio, the release, the attack. I really love this plugin. The good thing about this one is for the threshold, you just have to put the threshold lower the, the orange bar here. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits. It's not going to do nothing though until you adjust these here. For rap vocals, I like a fast attack. For uh, the release, I like a slower release. For the ratio, that really depends. I like between 3 to 4, depending. We'll try a 3 to 1 ratio here. Yeah! Ooh! Back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't speak to you niggas, you know it. I'm out in Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe... And you always check here to get the peak reduction you want to have. Like, you don't want to go over six. The same as the other one here. Say between three to five. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. 
Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't spit to you niggas, you know it. I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe a Kennels. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't spit to you niggas, you know it. I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe. Maybe a Kali or maybe a Kennels. Yeah. Ooh, back in this bitch and you know we reloaded. Look at the credits to tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she... You see, that's a, it's a lot more controlled. Like I said, this one is not the easiest if you compare it to the other one. But I wanted to show you at the same time a compressor that I use a lot and that I like. That's it. You have it, guys. These are my top five easy-to-use compressors. So if you're not sure, you're about ratio, attack, release. You kind of messed up uh, when you try to mix your vocals. You can use this plugin here. They're super good. They're going to give you a super good sound. And they're super easy to use. Thank you, guys, again for watching. And see you in the next video. Back in the and you know we're reloading. Look at the credits and tell you who wrote it. I had that bitch on my dick and she wrote it and she wouldn't spit to you niggas, you know it. I'm out of Cali, I'm looking for Chloe.